Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we will start working on setting up the development environment in which we will go ahead and use to create the lightning web components. So for this, we have two things is required. We need a Salesforce CLI. So we have to install the Salesforce CLI. It's a command line interface. And the second thing we need is the IDE, which we will use to write our lightning web components. So the first thing is I'm going to go to Google and type in Salesforce CLI. So this is going to be the tool that we need to download. So go to the first link that appears, click on that. And then you can, based on your machine, you can choose whichever you want. So if your machine is Mac, go for the first option. My machine is Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and download for the Windows 64. So once it's downloaded, let's go and hit the save button. We're going to install the Salesforce CLI. So it's successfully downloaded. Let's go ahead and install it. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Hit yes. Next. And then install. So now it has finally installed a few more seconds and then it's completed and hit the close button. So once the Salesforce CLI has installed successfully, we'll open up the command prompt CMD and here do write a command called SFDX update. Now what this command does, it's going to update the Salesforce CLI to the latest version. So if it's on an older version, it's going to go ahead and update it to the latest version so sfdx update so current version is 7.8.1 it is going to update it to 7.23.1 it might take a couple of minutes to get it updated so once this 9.5 mb reaches to 35.5 it'll finish off okay so the update has done from 7.8.1 to 7.23 and the cli is updated successfully the next thing we need is we need a IDE and the ID that we are going to use would be Visual Studio. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go to Google and type in VS Code. And the first link that comes, which is code.visualstudio.com, go ahead and click on that. This is the ID that we will use in order to create our Lightning Web Components. So I'm going to go ahead and download it for the Windows. and hit the save here and once it has downloaded successfully we're going to install it so we have downloaded and now we're going to go ahead and install it i accept the agreement hit next next and next we're going to create a desktop icon and then hit next install so it might take a couple of minutes to install the visual studio code okay so we have completed the setup. Now we're going to go ahead and launch it. So hit the finish. Now it will launch the VS Code. This is our Visual Studio Code that we will, the ID that we're going to use. We need to go ahead and download an extension pack. Before that, if let's say if your Visual Studio code has a color theme of black, you can change it. So you, all you need to do is go to file and preferences and here there is a color theme. So if you don't like dark themes, then you can choose a lighter theme here. So the dark theme will look something like th this. It will be darker in color. And uh, if you wanted to change the color theme, you can go to file preferences color theme I don't like dark so I'm going to go ahead and go for the light one so this is the light theme that way when we're writing programs it's e easy to see it and it's, it's easier now the next thing is we're going to go ahead and install an extension so all we need is we go to the extensions here on this left hand side and click on extensions and the extension that we're going to download is the salesforce extension pack so this is important go ahead and download this extension pack so right now I've already installed it on my machine. So that's why you see it uninstalled, but click on the install button and install the extension pack. It might take a couple minutes to install it. So this has already been installed on my machine. So I will leave it as it is. In the next tutorial, we will talk about developer hub and scratch rock. Then we will create those. So I'll see you then. Thank you.